Hi, my name is Marcelo Guzman. I'm with Pure Flow Ozone. We're on site in San Luis Obispo, California at the water treatment plant, conducting a week-long pilot study. Having served the community continuously since the early 1960s, it has undergone two major upgrades and is due for another upgrade for its ozone equipment in the near future. at the San Luis Obispo water treatment plant. This is the pilot ozone generator we're using for this, this project. Uh, this is a primazone ozone generator, and this represents the latest in, in uh, ozone generation technology. Uh, this is a water-cooled corona discharge ozone generator, and it can produce high concentrations of ozone from 10 to 20% by weight. And the benefit of that is it greatly reduces the uh, oxygen required for ozone production. And it's a, a, also compact has a, has a small footprint and can also operate at high pressure, uh, so 30 to 40 psi gauge. So that's different than uh, many of the other generators that are on the market. And uh, we'll talk about the benefit of that high pressure later, but it can greatly assist in our mass transfer solution for this project. Inside the cabinet, we have the reactor and power supply. And uh, this is a modular concept for an ozone generator. Each uh, reactor and power supply are independently paired. And uh, if there's ever a problem, in the rare event of a problem with either reactor or power supply, only that uh, pair shuts down, the remainder of the system continues to operate. So in our full size systems that have 48 um, um, reactors per generator, if you're ever to have a problem, again, rare occurrence that it may be, uh, you'd only lose 2% of your operating capacity and, uh, and then that could be dealt with on a scheduled uh, maintenance interval as opposed to an emergency repair. Um, on the generator, this is a scaled down version of the larger ones, but it has all the same components. So the reactor and power supply are, are the full size is what's used in the uh, full size systems. And the controls on this uh, are, the, are the same. It includes a mass flow meter for the oxygen inlet. Uh, pressure transducer to measure uh, incoming pressure, uh, flow controller to precisely control uh, ozone output. Uh, the cooling water is contained within the rails of the frame and uh, that eliminates any internal connections. Um, oxygen inlet and ozone outlet are also contained within these rails and connected on the outside. Uh, this makes for an efficient, compact system. Wing contactors were assembled and erected on site, constructed of 8 inch and 6 inch PVC pipe and standing roughly 20 feet tall. Each individual contactor was custom engineered to mimic both the hydraulic profile and residence time of the existing contact basin. The serpentine design closely simulates the static pressure and velocities of the existing contact basin, which are critical to the pre ozonation process. Additionally, sample ports were included along the body of the contactor to track the dissolved ozone residual at the start, middle, and end of each contact chamber, as well as the inlet and outlet. Each contactor is dedicated to one of the two treatment trains on the mass transfer skid, such that we can simultaneously test two different ozone injection methods at one time. The mass transfer skid consists of two ozone injection trains, raw water blends were pumped to the inlet manifold of the mass transfer skid, and manual flow control valves and inline rotometers were then used to evenly distribute the flow to the two treatment trains. Similarly, the ozonated gas was fed into a primary manifold where it was then evenly split into two flow streams. Each stream of ozonated gas was controlled in two ways, coarse tuning with an adjustable flow meter and fine tuning with a needle valve. 